In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at dynamic hierarchies. So we've been through the basics of uh, dynamics. I'm going to create a floor object. And I've basically snapped my simulation rigid body uh, icon over here. So I can just quickly add rigid body tags by just clicking this icon. To do this, just right click, customize palettes, and then look for the rigid body tag and then just drag it over. So I've created a floor and I'm going to create a sphere. Move that up. Click to add a rigid body tag. Play my scene back and the sphere falls down. So if we had several uh, spheres I'm just going to duplicate this a few times. We can basically select them all and hit Alt G, which automatically groups them and places them in a null object. And we just need uh, this tag, so I'm just going to drag it over and delete the rest of these rigid body tags. So if I play this back as it is, basically the objects fall straight through. That's because the null object is empty and it's not colliding with the floor and then the spheres are basically just following it. But if I choose inherit tag down here, uh, apply tag to children, it's basically applying this tag to all the children of the null. So now when I play it back, um, not only are the objects falling, they're also moving individually. So it might be easier to demonstrate this in a cloner object. So I'm just gonna go to MoGraph cloner, just take one of the spheres and I'm just going to delete this null and the spheres. Set the cloner to grid mode, grid array. Just move it up. And I'm going to apply my rigid body tag to the cloner. So I'm going to do the same thing, inherit tag, apply tag to children. So in this instance, even though it's affecting the spheres, the children, uh, they're not moving individually. So what we need to do is we then have to go to individual elements and choose all. And now when we play it back, all the individual clones are acting uh, separate from each other. You might also notice there's a top level and second level. So I'm just going to go through those quickly. I'm just going to delete my cloner and I'm going to add a MoText object. And I'm going to type a uh, quick VFX and then a second line tutorials like that. Uh, my middle mouse button is a bit fiddly. That's why I use these uh, icons up here. And I'm just going to change the font to something a bit thicker. Impact's a bit cheesy, but uh, it's nice and thick. So I'm going to select the MoText object and add a rigid body tag. Inherit tag, apply tag to children. So when we play it back, we get this effect. If we choose top level, basically each line is now acting as a separate object. So quick VFX and tutorials are two separate objects. And if we go to second level, now every word is going to act as an individual object. But because these are two words, it looks the same as uh, the lines. So I'm just going to type, um, I'm going to separate quick and VFX, uh, tutorials. Then after tutorials, I'm just going to type R3, two more words. So if I play this back, and we've set individual elements to second level. Now every single word is an individual object. And then furthermore, if we set individual elements to all, every single letter is going to be a separate object. So 
So that is a quick introduction to the inherit tag, uh, dynamic hierarchies and the individual element settings. If you found this useful, please share it and thanks for watching.